as soon as I got in and started narrating the description of this place I thought I'd never be in and saw those engravings on the wall, it was it was striking. I mean, so we were dealing with the first non-human species that buries its dead, and suddenly there are these symbols that it carves on the wall above its dead. Homo naledi has a, a brain size, a third the size of humans, slightly larger than a chimpanzee. And, you know, to be one of the first humans to recognize meaning-making symbols from another species hundreds of thousands of years old. No, I didn't expect it. <laughs> Homolei was one of these wonderfully enigmatic species. We had more individuals than almost any other species ever discovered in the fossil record from the time we discovered it in 2013. But that's all we had. We just had bodies because they were in this remote space. And so we knew everything about their anatomy. We could describe them in great detail as these sort of pin-headed, tall, skinny, uh, hominins that we didn't really know where they fit into human evolution because they looked like they should have lived millions of years ago, but they were actually existing 250,000 to 350,000 years ago, at the same time modern humans are evolving. But we had nothing about their behavior. And then over like a 72 hour period, we went from knowing nothing about them to knowing everything. We found out they had fire. We found out that they were. Uh, carving these symbols above the graves. We, we found bones of the animals they ate in chambers adjacent to it, where they were perhaps either doing ceremonies or they were waiting to bring the bodies in or out of these burial chambers. And suddenly we went from having just these wonderful anatomy lesson of a species to an entire culture. We had first hypothesized that Homo naledi had sort of deliberately disposed of its dead in these caves. and that we kind of had left because we thought it almost was an untestable hypothesis and then in those 2018 excavations suddenly we started seeing graves um, and we started working on these these burials i had to make a decision about getting into this space myself um, only 47 people had ever been into that space very dangerous very difficult gets down to seven and a half inches in the slot to get into this space. But I was one of the few people who had the whole picture in my mind. I was going to have to make that attempt to get in. And I was going to be 57 this year and not going to have many other times to try that. So I lost the weight, got into that space, and it was as awful and worse than I have ever described. It is a horrible journey. Uh, 12 meters, 12 meters. It's, you know, what, 40 something feet. Doesn't sound like long. It's torture, it's not a direct route. It's squeezes that are the size of your head where you can't turn your head down. I got in though, and it was marvelous. It was just this wonder of discovery. I can't believe what we're seeing, and we're seeing scratch marks, uh, uh, sort of what we call petroglyphs, which are in pictures or, or carvings carved in the rock. But look at the scale of these things. And the meaning of that, you know, realizing I was the first human in all of history to recognize another species uh, symbols. And then to get out, I almost died. It took me about 15 minutes to get down and over an hour to get out. I got stuck, had to make a lot of decisions. Uh, I almost dislocated my shoulder tore, or my rotator cuff, but it was worth every moment. One of the biggest impacts of this research is that it erases the idea of human exceptionalism based on our big brain. We have sat for hundreds of years trying to justify why humans are different than animals, why we are special in the world. What Homo naledi just taught us is it's not about that big brain. And nor are we that exceptional, nor did we likely do these things first. Others did them. And so all of those are going to have profound impact, not just on our study of Homo naledi, but on our view of ourselves in nature. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.